G'day guys, it's Tim from Tim's Adventures. I suppose you're wondering what am I doing here? Well, I have to inform you that this two claims, one there and one there, I have bought. <laughs> I've bought these claims because I know these claims and I know what's come out from underground and uh yeah so this is now my joint check it out big place giant tank with water 25,000 liter got a caravan for visitors you know i will in the future of course i will be moving in here because it's a bigger place and uh yeah so this is the arse end well, this is the other side of it. All this has to be cleaned up. This is an outside toilet, a bit of a shower. You know, needs a major clean up. That's my new Calso. Uh, wheelbarrow that's going underground here. Yeah. So a lot of dump runs to get rid of all the rubbish. Yeah, so. I'll show you guys the inside of the house. So yeah, she's all right. Check it out. This is uh, the new joint. It's a lot bigger than mine. <laughs> yeah. My houses. Big kitchen, heaps of cupboards, plenty of room, plenty of space. Bedroom, one bedroom, shower, toilet, all that gear. Uh, huge veranda over here. Look at this. Massive. Gonna have to put some of that uh, rubberized paint on the roof because it's really noisy when it rains here. Or I'll put a false ceiling one or the other. Whatever works best. Anyhow, these boards are rotten. That all needs replacing here. The whole outside, most of it. I'm actually thinking all the way back replace it with good boards that won't rot and uh, we'll see how she goes then we've got some pool table pool cues and stuff with no pool table that went ages ago all right let's have a look outside so a beautiful breeze comes through here really nice in the afternoons lovely one happy chappy so yeah Obviously, I will be getting rid of my claims uh, down the track sometime. Don't know when. But anyhow, I've got a shed here for storage. Got a lot of gear here that comes with it. That compressor. Uh, this is all rubbish over here. That's going to the dump. Bits and pieces on there. Yeah, it's all mine now. All this stuff. A bit of a, a steel rack here as well. This all comes with it. That stuff there, that's my sheet. I've already bought that and I bought a stainless steel sheet, which I'll tell you what that's about, what we're doing today. So this is the baby. Uh, got a nice air vent uh, fan here that blows down. And she's 36 feet deep here, which is great. Got a nice slab here for any type of work that I decide to do or whatever. This this baby here can be a future plant built on top. You can take it around anywhere you want on your claims. Yeah, so. Yeah, it looks like I'm, st I'm stuck here going and doing more work. <laughs> hey, Keith. I'll show you, show you guys now the plant. All right, this is the plant over here. How deep is it on this hole? About 35. About, yeah, 34, 35 foot there. Okay, here she is. Now, I've seen this plant in operation. She works well. The only bad part is that you've got to feed it and see it's rusted out that is going to be replaced i'm going to replace that and put a new bin in which is going to be at least 
two to three times the size of this one and it's going to have a conveyor underneath feeding directly into the trommel she works nice okay so there's obviously a lot of touch-ups i got to do as you can see i mean the pods have to be emptied out there they're you know in dire straits all these are filled up with rubbish uh, dirt but that's all going to get cleaned up of course and uh yeah so here we go up the top here we'll have a sticky beak i already stripped this the other day the pulsator and uh as you can see it's rotted right through okay so this whole pulsator is getting replaced that's why i bought the aluminium sheet i mean aluminium the stainless steel sheet and uh yeah so i'm starting to make that too rudy's gonna roll it for me uh to that size just gonna replace it because this uh worked very well it's the same concept as mine just goes up and down on a swivel here and it works well very easy very simple nothing to stuff up that's the main thing the only bad thing was is this self-feeding here i actually don't like that because it only fits 10 wheelbarrows and you've got to put it through the wash that means you've got to stand here and the other part i didn't like that you've got to rake it in that's not going to happen with the with me ain't gonna happen this baby is going to work on its own so i'll have a camera system over here onto the pulsator right camera system underground as well camera system on the whole house that's it yeah it will all be done so yeah but otherwise pretty good i mean that yeah just getting chopped out that's going to the dump once i chop it out <laughs> i like chopping things up and this is a uh, yeah for a good thing for a good reason this one anyhow gotta make a couple steps here to go up the floor is rotten totally rotten here you gotta watch out where you step um that's another thing that's gonna have to be cleaned up all this rubbish is gonna be cleaned up off the top i'm not into this sort of stuff i mean yeah i actually created a lot of rubbish myself so i can't say nothing and uh yeah but all good and so i'll show you guys where she starts what is this <laughs> no <laughs> okay so anyhow that's my pig over there oh no there's my pig there from there goes to over that one and goes all the way up to the road and and then up behind that power pole there's a pig on the right hand side and then goes all the way across there and down to this one two claims so guys i am super super excited yeah <laughs> amazing isn't it so this is the ground that they dug from underneath these piles here over the past whatever five years or whatever it was that uh, past people owned it thanks guys by the way yeah and uh yeah so now she's mine and my operation i'll change a few things and i've got the tractor to move the dirt and stuff and more than likely uh, i might put concrete concrete uh not pods but concrete into the ground and make uh water uh three separate bays for water so i can use an excavator to move the mud out or whichever way that that that's my way of looking at it because i'm i'm really not into this this is a lot of work and same as that the way the pulsator is i'll try to work out if i can change it to the other side going all the rubbish because you have to use a wheelbarrow here and every time it fills up you've got to get rid of the wheelbarrow it was a pain it was a pain watching people do it like not my idea of uh easy mining as you guys know all my rubbish goes out on one side and that's it so also what i was thinking i might lower this ground down 
all the way down that way and down to here and dig this out a bit because this is just not enough uh, ground um, for the wash uh, yeah, yeah this is oops sorry guys this is like one wash one of them and it's going to be full already and uh yeah that's not on no no yeah and i, I want to dig here as well so yeah i've got a person that's already digging here and uh as you guys know him keith so you know we'll see what happens and uh yeah we'll take it from here and i'll show you guys on the next video underground and see what you guys think all right guys like share subscribe ring that notification bell thumbs up and god bless you all and thank you all to the new subscribers yeah god bless you all thank you bye for now